Hello, my little sparkles. So, it's the end of the month. Can you believe it's the end of August? I feel like this month just, like, flew by. So, it's time to prepare for September. We are one month in on my channel, and I am so happy to have all of you little sparkles. I just want to take this moment to just thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel and has shown it this love. I can't believe how far Color Sparkle Shine has come in one month. So I was going to wait, you know, maybe two months before I did some challenges thinking I would only have a few subscribers, but I think I have more than enough subscribers to do challenges for August. So that's what we're going to work on today. So I thought for some challenges for the month of September, we would do some buddy colors. We would do some color hunts and we would do alpha colors. So for the buddy colors, I would like to do Autumn Charm and by Creative Haven. And all of this will be linked down in my description, um, description box. So if you don't have this coloring book, I will link it for you. So if you would like to do a buddy color with me in the month of September, this is the page that I have chosen out of Autumn Charm preparing for fall. September is one of those months where you feel like you're ready for fall, but you still have really hot days, so I don't want to go full fall yet. <laughs> but in preparation, I thought this would be a really cute, fun page because September really reminds me of when, like, the harvest comes in, you know? Like, that's when your garden is producing a lot. So when I thought about that, I thought about all the veggies and fun. So, and, and um, the sunflowers are, like, in peak, and things are still green, starting to transition. So I thought this would be a great page for a buddy color. So if you would like to color this with me in the month of September, it, it will be in this book. And then what I will do is once you color your page, which I will have a um, hashtag for it, it is going to be hashtag CSS buddy color. You'll tag me in that and then I will put your page up in my Instagram stories. If you do a buddy color with me, that's how it works. You use the hashtag, you tag me in it, and I will share your buddy colors in my Insta stories. I'm thinking about starting a Facebook group especially for this. So if you think that would be a good idea where we can share and you know all of our coloring pages and all that stuff, let me know down in the comments because I'm thinking about starting a Facebook group for this. I'm going to do two buddy colors. So the second one is in Lulu Mayo's new A Little uh, A Million Little Monsters. Again, these books will be linked down below if you don't have them and you would like to do a buddy color. Um, I thought this page was adorable. So you got like, you know, the cute little leaves and I thought the little melting mushrooms were cute and it's like whimsical and fun and I don't know. I just thought this was adorable. So this will be my second um, buddy color. So again, if you'd like to do this, use the hashtag CSS buddy color, tag me in it on Insta, and then I will post your coloring page on my Insta stories so that everybody gets to see what you did in the buddy color. So these are the two books that we'll be using for buddy colors. For my second challenge of the month, I have three challenges this month. For my second challenge this month, which is the color hunts, um, I'm going to be using this book. Um, one of them is going to be sunflowers. So all you would do is find a page that has sunflowers in it and you would color it. And I have a hashtag for it, of course, which is hashtag C SS color hunt. You tag me in it, and again, I will post your sunflower pages to my Insta stories. Again, I might open a Facebook group for all this as well. <laughs> but I think I'll be doing this one, or I found another really cute one with sunflowers. I'm trying to keep it kind of fall related, or this one. I thought this one was super cute with the books and the cookies and like the hot cocoa. I thought this was super, super cute. This one would also work for my second color hunt, which is leaves. 
because leaves are starting to transition in September. So again, you have leaves down here, but I think the page that I'm going to do again is out of this book. I'm going to be coloring a lot out of this book this month. This book is untouched, so I really want to color quite a bit in this book. Um, I think it's like right in here. This is the page I think I'm going to do for leaves. I love this with like the rain and see all the leaves and like all the trees I can do up here on multiple colors, multiple colors. So I think that's the page I'm going to be doing for leaves. Then I thought it'd be fun because as September comes and um, things are starting to get warmer and your harvest and all that stuff is coming in, I thought the next one that would be really, really fun is Kitchen. So yes, I know it is a Christmas coloring book, but this book is basically untouched too. I bought these new together, but I thought it'd be really fun for um, kitchen. I know I saw a beautiful kitchen page in here that wasn't like super, super Christmassy. That's the only page I've done in here. Here's one. This one's super this one's super Christmassy though. I think there was another one in here. Just give me a second while I flip a through. Here it is. This one. The reason why. Now I know that these are probably poinsettias, but I could definitely make those sunflowers. <laughs> I know that the towel says Christmas cheer. There's like little presents and stuff. There's a little bit of like Christmas going on in here, but it's not too bad. I just thought this would be super cute to do for kitchen. I like to be challenged and I know I can bring a lot of colors in here that aren't necessarily like Christmassy colors, but I thought this was super cute. So I have a feeling I'll be doing this one for the color hunt for kitchen. And then the last challenge I want to put out there is the alpha color. And I chose the letter A since this is a brand new channel. We'll just start at the very beginning of the alphabet and work our way through as the months go. So A for alpha color. And if anybody doesn't know, maybe I should explain what color hunts are. <laughs> I think everybody knows what a buddy color is. But color hunts are just... Um, like you're given something like sunflowers. You can go into any book. You can use any medium, anything you want. You're just coloring something with sunflowers. The same thing with leaves and the same thing with kitchen. You can use any coloring book. You can draw your own leaves. You can draw your own sunflowers, whatever you want to use. You're just hunting for those specific objects in your coloring. And um, you're going to tag me and use the hashtag. And then I'll display those on my Insta stories. Alpha color is you're given a letter, which our letter is going to be A. Like I just said, we're going to start at the beginning of the alphabet and work our way through these next months since this is a brand new channel. And you're just looking for something that starts with the letter A. Again, you can use any book. You can, use, you can draw your own thing. You can use any medium. Whatever you want to use, you can go for it. I'm almost positive there is an apple... It's either in this book or one of the other books I have by her. I'm just going to look real, real quick. It might be in my other book. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, there it is. It's on the very next page. <laughs> so this is probably the one that I'm going to use for my alpha color for the letter A because it's an apple. So I thought this would be really cute. And I thought this was an adorable concept that, you know, like they're using it as a merry-go-round, but the apple's like eaten. I love the little mushrooms, so I thought this would be super cute to do for the month of September for the letter A. So I'm going to be doing a lot in like these three books. <laughs> and of course, all of my other coloring and things like that. I introduced you in my previous video to um, collage coloring, which basically, um, I'll just show you really, really quick, where you just take um, things that you have colored and you collage with them. So I basically colored this and then I collaged a bunch of stuff with it. Um, I also do that with Disney princesses. And I just use a um, notebook from the Dollar Tree. 
to do the, these are called glue books. You're just gluing. So I colored um, Marina here, my favorite Disney princess and some other things. And then you just collage and you make a whole page out of it. I'm going to be doing more of these this month. And I think I'm going to do a few more of these months. And then in October, I'm going to put a challenge out um, with my buddy colors, my color hunts, and my alpha colors. I think I'm going to be putting a challenge out to do um, collage coloring as well. It's so much fun. You just pick something that you really, really enjoy. You can actually color everything because it's like, you know, I don't, I wouldn't necessarily pick something like out of a book like this, like it would be really hard unless there was something I didn't like. For instance, like maybe I don't like, I'm just using this for an example, not that I would do this, but I didn't, maybe I didn't like all of this and all of this and I didn't like these, but I love this bat. You know what I mean? Like I can cut this bat out of here, color it really pretty and maybe take one or two pieces out of this and uh, maybe I like something out of this book and I can color it and then I can collage with all of those pieces because it's like once you color your once you color your pages, you know, they're just going to sit in your coloring book. So sometimes it's fun to like mix it up and put them in like little mixed media um that's what that's called it's called mixed media in your collage books these are great for that like when you have like little individual little things because basically what you're doing is you're making your coloring pages your own ephemera and then what i do is i make my coloring pages the focal point of whatever you know whatever i'm collaging so this is what ephemera is, like this little sticker, this fox and stuff. Those are ephemera. So your coloring pages basically are turned into ephemera. And what I do is I go to the Dollar Tree and I buy really cheap coloring books so that I don't have any guilt cutting up my favorite coloring books like Lulu Mayo. I would have some guilt cutting up her coloring books. <laughs> But I go to the, I just do, I go to the Dollar Tree, I buy really cheap coloring books and I color and I use all of that as my um, stuff to do my collaging with in my little coloring collage glue book. Another thing that you can do, because this is where I got it from, see? This is my cheap coloring book that came from the Dollar Tree. I explained this all in the other video. I don't want to go through this all over again, but like see how they're just large images. You can just take those and then you cut them out and it, it, it was $1.25 for all of these images and you make collage pictures with them. Another thing to do too is like when you have books like this, um, I did this, this is great. You can, you can literally lay this on the paper and then collage on top of this. So this in turn, you colored all of this. What are you gonna do with it? Nothing, it's just gonna sit in your coloring book, right? So you in turn can collage more things that you colored. Like I could cut out, um, well, just like I could cut her out, color her something totally different. And then I can cut her out and collage her on top of here with other things. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a fun way to use all the things that you colored in a different way after you had the fun of coloring all of that stuff. It's just a way to keep on using all of your coloring things. <laughs> But anyways, if you're interested in learning more about that and seeing me actually make a coloring collage page, then um, check out the previous video. Before this, I will link it down below. But anyways, all of these books will be linked down below with the hashtags. So if you are interested in doing a buddy color with me, a color hunt, and a alpha color for the month of September with Color Sparkle Shine, all of that will be down in the Dropbox. Please join in. I would love to see what your pictures look like when you color stuff. I will post it to my Insta stories. I would love for you guys to use the hashtags. Let's have fun. Let's have this channel start being interactive because as the channel continues to grow and more things come about, I'm gonna be doing a whole bunch of interactive things with you guys because for me, YouTube and doing all of this, yes, I love coloring, but it's more of the interaction with all of you that really brings me joy. I mean, what's better? Girl pals that love to color and coloring books. I mean, does life get any better than that? <laughs> but anyways, 
So if you're interested in any of this, if I talk too fast, if you think you didn't understand anything, don't hesitate to leave me comments down you know, in the comments. And don't forget to check out the Dropbox for all of the fine details of the three um, challenges that I'm putting out for the month of September. Anyways, thanks so much for joining me today, guys. Taking some time out of your day to spend it with me makes my day. I'll be talking to you very soon in the next video. Bye, Sparkles!